God created this picture. There are too many dots that you can connect to see that his hand was over Joplin. I don't understand why everything happened the way that it did. My family was protected. I remember landing at the airport and it was pouring down rain um, and we got to the, the car and, and we headed over towards the house. And it was just despair, I mean it was just a, uh, a disaster, a tragedy. Um, everything was down everywhere and I couldn't see my road and I didn't, there were no street signs and I, I was lived there 15 years and I didn't know which road was ours very odd. I, I can't remember even what it looked like when we pulled up. I, I know what the pictures looked like that we took, but I don't know. I don't know. One of April's favorite sayings is live, laugh, love. And once I bought her some coasters that said live, laugh, love on each different coaster. And uh, I found one of them here in the rubble. And I just thought that it was appropriate to put it underneath our new address sign. This is our current bedroom setup. Um, we have uh, you know a nightstand of mine that we dug out of the, the rubble of the old house. April's using a TV tray and we have some sheets from one of the, the free uh, relief centers around here uh, that are kind of uh, not in great shape. And April wanted to leave it like this uh, but uh, we're going to uh, make a little change for her. Wait, what did you do? Brent. Oh. Ooh, but I told you not to. It's pretty though. If I could describe my family today, it would be closer, resilient, and loving. So that was our first trip together. That away. was our first trip so together. So just do the gigantic monkey. That was, our, that was our, a camp trip. What Skylar just found is a, uh, a piece of wood that had a little bell on it that my grandmother, or my actually my what great great grandmother, it had passed, been, been passed down through five generations and we thought we had lost it in the, the tornado. And Skylar just dug it out and uh, was able to pass it on to Brandon, which is the next generation that will get it. Yeah, they used it to call people for dinner. It says good bread, good meat, good gosh, let's eat on it with a couple scratches on it. And hopefully the bell's found, but I would be the fifth generation to have this little bell. I loved it because it was with my grandma for most of the time, except for the past year or so. And see, it's stuff like that. That's why we keep digging. I forgot this was even here. Exactly. You forget the things that you have that mean the most. And if you don't keep digging, you won't ever find it. This goes above my sword on the list. Yeah. Yeah, you found Here you go. Bell. Cool. Holy crap, Very you're cool. Getting what is that? Awesome. There you go. Patch it to your wood. Yay. The Joplin High School graduation was not held at Joplin High School, uh, which is two blocks from the house. There's not enough room. It was going on that night. Because of that, because there's not enough room for all the people, they have it at Missouri Southern. Um, and if it would have been going on at the job in high school when the tornado hit. Things would have been a whole lot worse. So, All right, give me your favorite memory of the dining room. Well, the dining room was right over in here. Um, and uh, there was a night that, it was the night that we had uh, one of the Boy Scouts, Adam, over. And it was me and you and Adam and Brandon and Savannah. And we were all sitting around playing Monopoly. And... Uh, Adam was losing so badly and because you know you know you're a cheater but anyway so you he landed on one of your properties and you had like I don't know 55 hotels and so you're like okay Adam that's like forty seven thousand dollars and Adam's like how about a hug <laughs> and that I mean we just died laughing and uh, from then on we were that's all we talk about is hey Adam how about a hug <laughs> so, what's your favorite m memory from the living room? I think my favorite memory of the living room 
Brandon was five, and I can still see him standing over there by the door. And uh, it was hot. It was summer. I don't know what month, but it was summer, and a bunch of the neighborhood kids were playing outside in the sprinkler, and he was running in and out and having a great time with them. And he kept leaving the front room door open to, to, out, to outside. And I said, son, you have to close the door, otherwise our electric bill is going to be too expensive. And he looked at me with this face of, of I want to understand and said, Dad, how does the electric company know that our front door is open? The biggest healing will come when St. John's and the high school are finally torn down because I, people drive through it every day and it's depressing and it, it's a new normal and it's like they don't even, they don't notice that it's still there. It's just now part of life. Having, having the small yeah. things, <laughs> the small things mean more than the big things. Having someone that you know and love and care about be okay and being able to oh, lay your yeah, eyes on. What's your name? Everett Holman, H-O-L-M-A-N. Thank you so much, Everett. You cleaned my car! <laughs> Thank you, that is so sweet. Oh my gosh! I think the best way to prepare, nobody can be prepared for a tornado or any act of God that is going to be destructive, but there's some things that you really do need to know. Number one, talk to your insurance agent. Make sure that you're insured. Make sure that you're insured for everything. And I know nobody likes to talk to your insurance agents, because they're always going to sell you something, but you want to be sold some of this stuff. Um, so definitely talk to the insurance agent. Always have a, an emergency kit. Uh, emergency kit, um, the, there are lists on the internet of what they have in it, but you need water, you need an, an air horn in case you're trapped in a building, um, you need clothing, food, that type of thing, uh, medical equipment. I had an emergency kit. Um, it was underneath my house. Luckily I wasn't there and a wall fell on it, so I couldn't have even gotten to it, but it was there uh, if I would have needed it. Uh, always back up everything on your hard drive away from your house. Uh, that's, we were very lucky because I had everything backed up and I had it in a safe, so we were safe there. And then be really careful with the things that mean a lot. Uh, if you like Christmas ornaments, don't store them in the attic. Store them somewhere that they're safer. If you have something that, that really means something to you, of family history, make sure to store it properly.